In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these Easter mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. <coughs> the God restorer and lover of righteousness. Direct the hearts of your servants towards yourself, that those you have set free from the darkness of unbelief may never stray from the light of your truth. <coughs> Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Some men came down from Judea and taught the brothers, unless you have yourself circumcised in the tradition of Moses, you cannot be saved. This led to disagreement, and after Paul and Barnabas had had a long argument with these men, it was arranged that Paul and Barnabas and others of the church should go up to Jerusalem to discuss the problem with the apostles and elders. All the members of the church saw them off, and as they passed through Phoenicia and Samaria, they told how the pagans had been converted, and this news was received with the greatest satisfaction by the brothers. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they were welcomed by the church and by the apostles and elders, and gave an account of all that God had done with them. But certain members of the Pharisees' group, who had become believers, objected, insisting that the pagans should be circumcised and instructed to keep the law of Moses. The apostles and elders met to look into the matter. The word of the Lord. <coughs> I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. I rejoiced when I heard them say, Let us go to God's house. And now our feet are standing within your gates, O Jerusalem. I rejoiced. Jerusalem is built as a city, strongly compact. It is there that the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. I rejoice in my heart and say, let us go to God's house. For Israel's law it is there to praise the Lord's name. There were set the thrones of judgment of the house of David. I rejoice in my heart and say, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my own sheep, and my own know me. Alleluia. <coughs> the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that bears no fruit, he cuts away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes to make it bear even more. 
You are proven, Lord Abel, by means of the word that I have spoken to you. Make your home in me as I make mine in you. As a branch cannot bear fruit all by itself, but must remain part of the vine, neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me with me in him bears fruit in plenty. For cut off from me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me is like a branch that has been thrown away. He withers. These branches are collected and thrown into the fire, and they are burnt. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you may ask what you will, and you shall get it. It is to the glory of my Father that you should bear much fruit, and then you will be my disciples. The Gospel of the Lord. Throughout the centuries, the Catholic Church has called together councils, you may have heard of some, the Council of Nicaea, from where the Nicene Creed was established and became the statement of belief for the whole universal church. The Council of Trent, which met to see how the church could work in the light of the reformations that had taken place in England and in other parts of Europe. Then, of course, in more recent years, we have had the Second Vatican Council, which met between 1963 and 1965, and basically put together the structure of the church that we know today. These councils are ways in which the church can build unity and a sense of purpose and a sense of identity in the midst of the church of their times. And so it was, it seems, in the early church, where we hear in our first reading today, the apostles, the disciples, Paul and Barnabas, going up to Jerusalem, so that serious issues of their church in their time could be discussed and resolved. The issue which was paramount in their minds was whether new converts had to live by the rule of the Jewish law, and ultimately there would be an agreement amongst the disciples that that would not be the case and not necessary to do so. Whenever the church is in council, and indeed whether that's been an official capacity or whether in an unofficial way, we trust that God is always working and his Holy Spirit is leading the church in ways and in the times that it exists. It is so that the church can always remain part of that true vine that we listen to again in this morning's Gospel, the same Gospel that we heard on Sunday. For cut off from that vine, we can bear no fruit. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers of intercession this day. Let us pray for the church during these days, that it may always be a visible sign of God's love. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for our world and its many needs. We pray especially for our world that still struggles with war and violence and conflict. We pray for peace and reconciliation amongst the nations. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith that we may remain always attached to the vine of Christ and that we may bear fruit in our lives of discipleship. Lord, in your mercy, we pray for those who are sick in mind or in body that they may find healing and peace. Lord, in your mercy, for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, that they may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven and glory with the saints and the angels. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our we ask for the prayers of Mary, Mother of the Church, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfilment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself as the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint John the Baptist, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
We pray together and act as spiritual communion, joining with those who are joining us on the live stream and on YouTube this day. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen.